Hello. I wanted to come on here and make a video. I haven't made one in about a week. I told myself I'll start being a little bit more consistent with making my videos. But um, I'm just up making coffee and my baby's up early this morning watching his little show. So I hope all is well out there in TV land. And <laughs> I just had, um, you know, because when I get up in the morning, um, I like to, um, you know, definitely say my prayers, give uh, glory to God, and let him know how, um, you know, how much I love him and how much I appreciate him for everything that he's done for me and my boys. And, you know, sometimes it just gets a little overwhelming. I guess not overwhelming. I mean, it's more so like for me, it's like I'm just com completely grateful and the, you know, the gratitude that he has bestowed upon me is just, um, you know, it's just a wonderful feeling, especially, you know, um, just, you know, how far I've came, the things that I have been able to overcome. And um, I got to do these dishes. Hold on. Um, my cheese grater. I'm looking for my cheese grater. Places I can never find things that. And um, you know, just the things that I've been through, the things that I uh, have been able to overcome through his grace and his mercy and his love it's just um you know it's it's just a reflection it's just a reflection of who he is you know and um i was just i'm just so thankful that he has uh, one two three on the clock has chosen me to be able to step into my greatness you know, um, and it's just, sometimes it's just like really overwhelming and it's just like, you know, I, I really thanked him today because it's like the love that he gives me is so unconditional. It, it's the unconditional love that he, and the anointing that he has for me, it compares to no earthly being or no earthly flesh. Like there, there's nothing that... I need from anything or anyone as long as I have him I have everything that I need you know and um, as long as I know that he loves me unconditionally that is the most important thing to me because I just you know it's just it's just wonderful it, it's just wonderful the, the, the type of love that he shows me and the things that he is able to provide me with and you know, the majority of the time I don't have to ask for anything because he knows exactly what I need, you know, and that's the great part. That's the beauty of the relationship that I have with him is that, you know, I know, go sit down, let me finish making it. And, um, you know, he knows what I need. He knows the love that I require. Huh? I love you too, baby. And he knows the love that I need and he knows the love that I require and it's like it's it's just it's just overwhelming and it's like you never know how you know um, how much love that <laughs> that you can can receive you know it's like how much is too much how much is too much it's not you know but I'm a true firm believer that God doesn't give you more than you can handle he gives you exactly what you can handle you know because he knows that you can handle it so and I'm, I'm a true firm believer of that and it's like if you, if you feel that you know you know a lot of people have gone through a lot of different things than a lot of people have you know I mean just you know for myself for instance you know um and I mean, even some of my family members, you know, we've we've all gone through a, a tremendous amount of 
uh, you know, trials and tribulations and transgressions and, you know, and, and it's like sometimes we just, we, we hit that rock bottom and it's like, it, it's hard to get back up to the top. But it's like, you know, I, I really feel that he doesn't give you more than you can handle because he knows that you can handle it. And, and I really feel like, you know, this is, uh, being here on, in this world, in this earthly world is just a, a, a test for us to, to live eternal life. It's like, I, I'm not going to fail the earthly world because I don't live for this life. I live for eternal life. You know, I need to make it, <clears throat> I need to be a survivor of this world in order to get to eternal life. And, and I believe he will test us. And I, I truly feel that, you know, every time we get tested and if we're going through these little trials and these little tribulations and, you know, and we, and we've been break or fold, <clears throat> then he knows what he can and can't test us with. You know, he, he, he knows that, okay, well, she can only handle this much, you know, but if she makes it through this much, then it'll get her to where she needs to go. You know, I truly believe that he'll put you where he needs to put you through in order to get you to where he needs to take you, right? So I'm, I'm a firm believer of that now, like 110%. And it's like if you're continuously going through all these trials and tribulations and, and all these ups and downs and you just can't feel like you can't make it out, it's because you keep failing the test that he keeps providing you with. You need to you, you you need to pass that certain test in your life in order for him to get you to where you're gonna go. But if you keep failing these little trials and these little errors and these little tribulations, he's there there's never gonna be this big grand test. I always I like to say when you beat King Koopa, it's like there's never gonna be this big grand test because you keep failing all the little ones that he keeps giving you. So he he only gives you what what he knows that you can be able to handle. And it's like you know the the greater the the, the more intense the the more intense the story, the greater the glory. You know what I'm saying? That's that's truly really how I feel. The more intense the story, the greater the glory. And it's so, um, um, I'm just, you know, I'm figuring that out along the way, you know, and, and like I said, I, I'm a true firm believer that he'll never give you more than you can absolutely handle, you know, but the thing is, is that if, if, if he's giving, if you get these little fires, little fires, little fires, little fires, little fires, and then you... You don't call you you only call on him to put out the little fires but then you but then you jump back in the fire that don't make no sense you know what i'm saying that don't make no sense right there you're not changing the narrative you're not changing the situation you're not you know he gives you a, a way out of a situation and all you do is keep going back to that same situation that's not that's not how it works and, and it's like that's why i really feel like people continuously go through this hard life and they keep living this hard life over and over and over and over again because it's like okay every time i try to move you forward or move you past the bs it's like you all you do is is, is turn your back as soon as i get you out of it all you do is turn your back on him and, and you go back right back into the drama and then where you are back back uh you know what i'm saying worshiping him and, and 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 asking him to get you out of some more drama it's like okay well i keep doing that but then you keep going back to the same drama and it's like i don't think people understand that like <laughs> nothing changes if you don't change nothing changes if you don't change you got to change your mind. You got to change your way of thinking. You got to change how you look at life. You got to change the, the, the people and the things you surround yourself with. You know what I'm saying? You really do. You really do. And it's like, you know, as I'm really starting to um, come into this type of realization, you know, it's, it's kind of just remarkable because now I feel like I am able to you know, recognize when I am being tested, you know, when I, when I, when I feel like that, you know, the devil is tempting me because trust me, the devil will tempt you and test you just as much as God would, you know, and we'll be quick to pass, we'll be quick to pass the devil's test before we will God's test, you know, but then when we pass the devil's test, we looking for God to save us. What kind of cockamamie stuff? Oh man, and it's just like, 
it's just crazy it's just so crazy to me i don't understand it like and i'm gonna be honest i could say that now right i could definitely say that now but it's like there's no way there's no way that i would go back to the bs like there's absolutely no way that i would go back to the bs like, I, I just don't, I'm not, I'm not part of that life, I'm not part of that world, I'm not, you know what I'm saying, if, if it's not from God, then it's not meant for me, it's not meant for me to have, it's not meant for me to be a part of, and all I'm doing is derailing the process, all I'm doing is derailing the road that he's already paid for me. And I'm not doing that anymore. Like, it, it's not worth it to me. All these earthly possessions and all these earthly beings and all these, you know, negative people that we surround ourselves with, they're not worth it to me. It's not worth it to me. If it's, if it's meant for me to have and it comes to me with ease, then I know that that's, that's from God. If something is hard for me to get or, or, or sometimes if it's just too easy like oh that was just too easy uh i'm not gonna i'm gonna question that all day because nothing gonna come from god and be that easy you know he he wants you to work for what he's going to give you because he wants to make sure that you're prepared for what you have period right hard work is what he wants from you he wants you to work hard he wants you to be there he wants you to you know be be part of uh be part of him and, and everything that he's got going on it's not gonna come that easy the devil will make things so easy come to you so easily that you can just look at it and touch it and it's already yours god god wants you to work for everything that you have because he's putting in the work to make sure that you get it he's preparing you to make sure that you get it so i'm just you know i'm just grateful that i have been able to put in the work you know, I'm just grateful that he has been able to bless me with certain things. And I'm just grateful that he sees, you know, this greatness in me that I am now starting to see in myself. That's the most important thing for me as of now. You know, it's like, you know, I, I never thought I would be able to be this great. You know, and being great takes a lot of work. It does. But it's like, like I said, he's not going to give you more than you can handle. So continue doing the work continue loving on him continue praying for him and and a lot of and uh, and another thing it's like don't don't pray for him to him to bring you stuff like i think sometimes people get prayers mixed up it's like oh god i, I pray that i get this and i pray that i have no you need to already thank him for what you have that's the problem the things you've already prayed for and he's given to you 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 stop thanking him for that you can't don't do that don't don't use him, you know what I'm saying? Don't don't use him for the things that you want. And then when you get it, it's like, uh, good luck at my G. <laughs> Praise him for the things that you have. Praise him for the things that you don't have. Praise for him to the things that are on the way. Pray for the blessings. But don't just don't just use it as, you know, oh, I need you to get, give me this. I need you to give me that. I, oh, thank him for even waking you up up today thank him for making sure that you had gas in your car thank him for that you got to work safely like you thank him for everything thank him that you got hot food that you got a roof over like thank him for everything that you have because as long as you have him you have everything and if you don't have him you truly have nothing so just be thankful for the things that you have i love you i hope everyone has a great day give god the glory amen bye